A big round of applause. Big round of applause, please, because Indian High Commission is encouraging all the community events in the UK. And uh, really, we need to thank Indian High Commission. We know that uh, in every time, uh, whenever any like Prime Minister or anybody comes, they do let us know and they will make us... ...to join you today for today's Benali Festival and to say how proud I am to be able to share this with you and to join you again after I know we're making it here last year as well. To thank also my colleague Varunda Sharma MP for joining today and also to bring apologies from Ruth Cadbury, Member of Parliament, who was unable to be here. It's an inspiration for us as well to see the community, the Telangana Association. Your president is a woman uh, and I don't know why she <laughs> and how much she does and also the whole committee because to show how men and women together, standing together, can be that joint and diverse leadership that we need is a true example and a really big part of our politics today in this year that is a hundred years since women had the right to vote. This is a year that's been celebrated in Parliament and around the country. Good afternoon, everybody, youngsters, ladies, gentlemen, people old age like me, everybody, good afternoon. It's a great honor and a privilege to come to join you all. Not only this event, many other events uh, in the past, and I'm looking forward for the future as well. As Simani has already spoken, the importance of the day. The Mahakali event and our belief behind the celebration, our beliefs, how we see the role of Mahakali in the society. So I don't want to go into the details of that. Being a Hindu myself, I, I understand the Hindu traditions. But the most important, while we are in UK now, what is our role in the wider society? I was very impressed when I read, together, let's make a difference. So we cannot make a difference on our own. You can't do it, I can't do it. But if we come together, we can do it. And what kind of the difference we want to make? What do we want to see in the future? What is our vision for the society? Not for individually, for the society. Everybody looks after him or herself. You work hard, we go earn money, get food, look after the family. Is that the society we are talking about? Or are we talking about what is happening to my neighbor? What is happening to those people who cannot afford to buy a food? Those people who cannot send their children to get a good education? Those who cannot participate due to the homelessness and many other reasons, many other disasters? What the Mahakali has done? That's what she saved the society. She did not save one particular individual and the uh, uh, communities. So I am glad, and I'm glad to have uh, Uday with me today. When uh, I rang him because I had to go to a couple of other events, and he was very kind because he was also coming. So he was very kindly brought me here. 
And I think that this is the spirit we want to create. It's not him or her, not them and us. It is we. It's when we divide the line, that is not the unity. That is not the society we want to see. And I'm thankful to the organizers for inviting me today here, giving me the opportunity because I can see many friends who I have seen for and work with them, uh, whether it's uh, through the legal profession or uh, otherwise. Uh, we have seen it and I'm glad that uh, everybody is here. But remember, your future of your children, not your future. It is the future of your gener future generations and what kind of the future we want to create for them. For me, what kind of the legacy I want to leave. Because I'm at that stage in life where I'm talking about what can I leave for the rest of the society so that you can remember me, so that you, I can feel comfortable in myself that I did help to bring a change. So that's the spirit. I hope that you will take that message. Make sure that your children don't forget your traditions. Make sure that your children don't forget your language. Your children don't forget about your faith. But above all, make sure they become a good British Telugu citizens, not only British, not only Telugu, the British Telugu citizens in this country so that our values, combining with the British values and other values from the other faiths, to bring together and make a bouquet which become more and more useful to the society and also we all enjoy that. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the celebrations, but make sure that you take the spirit and the message of Mahakali to the wider. Um, I I thank uh, TAR Telangana Association of the United Kingdom, Pavitra ji, and all the members of the team here for inviting me for this beautiful function today. Um, today is Bonalu. Um, I was, I, it is the, let me be honest with everyone here that it is the first time that I am part of the celebrations for this festival. Uh, today we are celebrating the coming home of uh, Goddess Mahakali. Um, when I was thinking of Goddess Mahakali, I uh, also thought of Goddess Durga which is, you know, a goddess of similar power and stature and we celebrate her homecoming in the eastern part of India in Bengal, in Bihar and that is where I come from and uh, we similarly play, pray for uh, blessings and prosperity on this day. So I, my best wishes to all of you uh, on today on Bonalu and I I was mesmerized by this Bharat Natyam dance performance and I'm so glad to see that there is such a big community, Telangana community in London here and all of you are so enthusiastic and so, so nicely you have come here to celebrate and be together and feel as, a one, as one community which is a great thing to do and at the High Commission we we always like to uh, be with the community and we, we see them as our family, part of our family. So I am really thankful and humbled to be here and be part of your celebrations today. Thank you so much.